All right, folks, we are looking at another sweet knife. This is the Buck 193 Alpha Hunter with Elkhorn scales. And um, it's got a gut blade, and the blade is actually made out of S30V. Um, this is a nice fixed blade knife. Um, heavy duty sheath. Again, it's model number 193. This leather sheath is uh, super high quality. Um, you can see it's uh, how thick it is up here. It's almost like like a four ply. Um, mine's got a little bit of use. I've used it a little bit, um, but it's a great buck knife. Uh, let me pull out this knife so you can just uh, take a look at it here. <clears throat> um, like I said, just a beautiful looking knife and I'll try to get some close-ups of this Elkhorn. The knife is about eight and a half inches. It uh, weighs about seven and about a little over seven ounces. And um, the blade is just under just under four inches in total length. And it's a pretty thick knife. Um, it's actually uh, right around right around three uh, millimeters thick, I believe. Um, you can see the engravings there, S30V. Um, I'll give you a sense here of how, uh, how big this is compared to my, I got a buck 110 laying right here too. Um, it's about, about the same size as a buck 110. Um, just to give you a sense, the buck 110 is a pretty it's a pretty big knife too, but um, put that aside. We're not reviewing that one right now. Um, what else can I tell you about this knife? It's really easy to take in and out of the case. Um, you just put it in and it locks right there. Very easy to take in and out of the case. Um, it does have these grooves on the thumb. Really, really good jimping um, there. I gotta say, those are, I'll try to get a close up. These are like little um, rectangles, but they actually work really well. There's quite a bit of room to put them, and then there's some right on the bottom part of the blade, too. So you get quite a lot of grip right there. Um, seems to work, seems to work really good. Um, this blade, again, is S30V, extremely durable. Um, blade just to give you guys an idea of how sharp this is uh, based on lab tests and um, um, that that uh, buck has done um, it provides about 45 percent greater edge retention than 420 hc so almost a 50 percent um, better steel than the standard 420 HC that's on a lot of their knives. Also, um, the hardness is right around 60 um, Rockwell scale. It's got a drop point blade. Um, sweet gut hook here. This works um, really well. I'll try to get a close up um, so you can see that. And uh, it's got a hollow grind so it sharpens, stays sharp really well for a long time. Um, it is heat treated by Paul Boss, um, very well known um, heat treating guy. You can see his logo right there. Um, and uh, I believe, like I said, the Rockwell is right around 60, give or take one in each direction. Uh, satin finish, it's a real nice looking finish on there. It's got a full tang, goes all the way through the knife. Um, extremely durable. Um, and again, these are uh, Elkhorn handles, and these are stainless steel pins that hold them in. You can't really take those out. Um, they're riveted on there. It's got a nice lanyard uh, hole right there, so if you want to um, connect your paracord or whatever you may use, you can do it right there. Um, this is a great knife for hunting, for skinning deer. Um, gutting deer, you can just use that zipper gut blade right there and just pull right along. It works really well. Um, it could be a small survival knife. Um, you know, it could be used for that. 
They make a few other models just like this that are a little bit different. Um, I haven't ever, I've never seen this particular Elkhorn one before. The ones that you can get are from uh, Cabela's. They make an Alaskan Guide series knife that you can buy at Cabela's. And that particular one has a uh, titanium aluminum nitride coating over the S30V. And then it has rosewood scales here. The other one that they make is rosewood scales with 154 cm. I've seen that at quite a few uh, just hunting stores and then I believe they make one basic one might have rubber grips and it might be 420 HC so they make a few other variations this particular one um, retails for about two hundred dollars the one that I, that's the Alaskan guide version out of S30V at Cabela's that one is right around a hundred and twenty dollars and um, the nice thing about these knives are they do come with the uh, buck forever warranty. So if anything ever goes wrong, you just send it back, they'll fix it, they'll make it right. Um, this knife fits really well in the hand. I mean, it just, you can see this groove right there, and then right here, it's contoured really nice. Really good, um, really good feel in the hand. It's not too thick, you can see it's um, not too bad at all. Um, so yeah, this is the Buck 193 Alpha Hunter with Elkhorn scales. I'm going to just do a little bit of um, test. Let's see if this can uh, cut paper uh, very easily. Not, I've used this one quite a bit, so it's uh, it's a little bit. It's not quite razor, but you know it's it's not bad. Um, it's definitely uh, it's definitely cutting, pretty good, clean cuts there. So yeah, this is the Buck 193 Alpha Hunter with S30V. Love to get other people's thoughts. Uh, message me, uh, write a comment, and uh, just let me know what you think of this knife, if you've used it, um, if you think you'd like to have one like this. Um, I think it's a great knife. It seems to work amazingly well. It does everything I need it to do. And uh, it's not too big and it's not too small, and I really like this gut blade on this particular model. So, hey guys, thanks for checking it out, and uh, let me know what you think. Have a great day.